Last week on Battlefield 1's Best Weapons, we looked at the sidearms in the game and we came to the conclusion that the 1911 was the community's favourite. I'm hardly surprised with that result. And somehow, through no organised voting whatsoever, totally no organised voting, <laughs> the Calibri came in second. This week though, it's the turn of the sniper rifles in Battlefield 1 and which the community thinks is the best. Let's dive into it. So this week, votes were collected up on the 28th of February. I took a week out of the series, I was super busy, I just didn't have time to make the video and I wanted to make sure it was of good quality. But this week we did get a really good spread of votes. Every single option in the poll got at least 11% of the overall vote, so plenty of people have their own favourite sniper rifles to use. But as with each episode, we'll be covering just the top three. Stick around till the end of the video, however, to make sure you're voting on the ultimate best weapon poll. That's taking number one spots from every poll we've done so far, and we will decide what is the ultimate weapon in Battlefield 1. Right then, let's get into it. Coming in at number three this week, we have an American-made rifle. It came across the Atlantic Ocean in the hands of the American Expeditionary Force in late 1917 and early 1918. It wasn't as populous on the front lines as people might believe, however, due to supply issues, but in Battlefield 1, it's the rifle to pick if you're interested in playing the long game. Third place this week goes to the M1903 Springfield Rifle with 1,012 votes, taking 18% of the overall poll. The 1903 Springfield is the rifle in Battlefield 1 with the most ranged sweet spot, offering the player a 100 damage hit to the upper torso between 100 and 150 metres. Now this might not sound like a huge distance, but considering Battlefield 1's overall map sizes are considerably smaller than previous titles, that range is considered quite extreme. This is the rifle that you want to be using if you're really, really into the scout role of keeping watch over the battlefield, spotting players for your teammates and picking off targets whilst keeping yourself at a safe distance. I'm not hugely keen on that type of playstyle myself, I prefer a little bit more of an aggressive scout approach, but each to their own, and if you're fond of the sniper life then the 1903 has more besides the sweet spot to help you do well out there. The bullet velocity of the 1903 Springfield is 820 meters a second. That means regardless of the distance to your target, bullets will be getting there extremely quickly. Now of course you do have to factor in bullet drag, that's a stat that starts to slow down the speed of the bullet the further it flies, and of course you have bullet drop as well. Bullet drop is not really as relevant a statistic in Battlefield 1 as it was in previous titles, because bullets just fly so much faster, but as the bullet drag kicks in, the impact of the bullet drop becomes more and more severe. And because you're using the 1903 as a long range sniper bolt action rifle, you're going to have impact on that a little bit more than if you're sniping with the SMLE Marksman or something like that. The rate of fire of the 1903 is a healthy 53 rounds a minute, although at longer ranges, rate of fire really isn't as important. I would probably say you're hiding behind cover at that point, so if you wanted to rechamber around and get ready for your next shot, you could drop behind cover. The closer you get to your enemy, that's where rate of fire matters. This weapon doesn't have a straight pull bolt either, that means you will be scoping out in between each round you fire, but again at long range you should have time to make that work properly. If the target you took a shot at isn't spotted, you could easily lose them during rechambering animations, but if you're firing at long range I'm guessing you know exactly where that player is because you've probably been looking at them for a while. So that's third place this week taken by the M1903 Springfield. Second place this week goes to a DLC weapon, one I'm rather fond of and perhaps more so for aesthetics rather than function. I tend to find more so these days I'm choosing weapons that look cool over ones that might suit me more in a given situation. End of Battlefield 1's life cycle, I'm trying to switch things up to keep things interesting. Second place this week goes to the LaBelle Model 1886 with 1037 votes and 19% of the overall poll. 
The label was introduced with the French DLC in March 2017, so almost an entire year ago now, and it has plenty of features that can make you love it or absolutely hate it. However, I became a fan almost instantly. I think for me it's about the sound that the rifle makes. It's a really deep sound, much more so than any of the other rifles really. Maybe the Martini Henry tops it still, but a bolt action rifle, this one sounds better than any other in Battlefield 1. Now one of the main attractions for using the Labelle Sniper is its high magnification scope paired with a middle of the road sweet spot range. From 50 meters to 87.5 meters, the rifle will deal that 100 damage to the upper torso, meaning one shot kill ranges are quite similar to the SMLE rifle, but it starts a little bit later and finishes a little bit later as well. It also has a longer tail end to the damage as it reduces from 100 back down to 80, meaning you're going to be dealing more than 80 damage all the way out to 125 meters or so. So this is quite a deadly bolt action rifle. Another benefit of using the Labelle, you can hold 8 rounds in its internal magazine, and that makes follow-up shooting a little bit easier than some of the other bolt action rifles. Most of those only feature 5 or 6 round internal magazines. The downside to this 8 round capacity, however, is the design of the magazine itself. It's a tubular magazine. This means rather than the rounds being fed into the magazine via stripper clips, you have to reload round by round, one at a time. You can hold one in the chamber though, so you can fire a bullet instantly before having to rechamber one out of the tubular magazine, but it's not nearly as convenient as most of the other bolt action rifles. You can hold more, but it takes longer to reload the rifle, so that's kind of the trade-off. You might find that enemies at closer range will try and take advantage of the fact that you have to reload bullet by bullet and therefore having a sidearm that you can rely on is really important when using the Labelle. I'd say something like the number 3 revolver or the 1911 is going to be a perfect pairing. This is definitely a good position for the Labelle to be in. I'm glad so many other people like this rifle. It's definitely one of my favourites and it really does deserve second place. And so then we must move on to the winner, the best sniper rifle in Battlefield 1. Now this is an extremely iconic and well-known rifle for its use during World War 1 by the German Empire. First place today is taken, of course, by the Gewehr 98 with 2,157 votes and 39% of the overall poll. Quite the winner. The Gewehr 98 is a base game sniper rifle, and it stands alongside the M1903 Springfield as one of the longest range rifles that you can choose in the game. Its slow rate of fire emphasises its role as a proper sniper rifle, unlike the SMLE and the Gewehr M95, which fire much faster and work really well as aggressive weapons. The Gewehr 98 is extremely powerful, but it's a more of a slow and steady bolt action rifle. The sweet spot on the Gewehr 98 sits between 80 and 125 meters, putting it in quite an active zone in terms of engagement range. Its sniper scope, which has some big magnifications, can be really effective here, giving you a clear view of enemies that you're shooting at, at a range where other rifles might not have that magnification. Alongside that, you have an extremely fast bullet velocity, 880 meters a second, making landing shots on moving targets much easier than some other rifles at that kind of range. Around 80 to 120 meters is the kind of distance between a lot of flags in Battlefield 1's maps, giving the 98 a good chance of taking down players in one hit to the chest whilst you're playing the objective at the same time. It's not as far out a weapon as the Springfield, but it bridges the gap nicely between a proper sniper rifle variant and the closer range, more aggressive marksman rifles. It has a nice and simple five round internal magazine, no messing about here. It's a simple feed in fire system with no weird single bullet reloading like the Labelle. Shove the stripper clip of ammo in, chamber the first round and just get back to shooting. And despite its low rate of fire, it makes up for that with a fairly quick reload so you can get back to shooting enemies again quite quickly. Overall, the Gewehr 98 is definitely the deserving winner of the best sniper in Battlefield 1. I think it's got the basic fundamentals right, it's got a nice sweet spot, and it looks a treat at the same time.
So, there you have it. The Gewehr 98 wins the sniper rifle poll, and that means it's now entered into the big, final poll of all the other number one weapons in their categories that you guys voted for. So, head down into the description, click the link to the poll, and vote for which of the top weapons you like the best, and we're going to crown the ultimate best weapon in Battlefield 1 in our next episode. But thank you very much for watching today. Leave your thoughts and comments down below in the comments section, and I'll be down there reading and replying to as many as I can. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've got notifications switched on. That way, you'll always get my videos as soon as I upload them. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.